So you've just defeated the Ender Dragon for the first time in your world, and you're wondering, what should I do now? Well, you're going to go through an end gateway, and you're going to raid the end to get Elytra and Shulker Boxes. But first, if you're like me, then you're not smart and you forgot something, because you need to have a certain number of things with you when you go to the end for the first time to effectively get around. So what are those things? Well, first of all, you're gonna to wanna to have a few stacks of blocks so you can get around easily. I'll probably even leave this with me. Uh, we don't need this extra stuff that we just got from the Ender Dragon fight. Uh, we have plenty of food on us and then we are not gonna need some of these tools, but I'll have a way to get rid of those later. But we are missing a very important thing that I need to get. And that very important thing happens to be gunpowder and sugarcane to make rockets because we're gonna wanna make ourselves about three stacks of rockets for our first trip to the end, especially if you plan on staying there for any length or period of time. If you only plan on staying there long enough to get yourself an elytra and that's it, well, you probably don't need that much, if any at all. But I'm gonna go stock up because I wasn't smart enough to do that in the first place. Okay, gunpowder and sugarcane has been obtained. So what we can do is we can come over here, we can change the sugarcane to paper, and then we can now craft ourselves rockets. And like I said, I usually like to go with about three stacks. I uh, actually got a little bit extra gunpowder, so we can go with more than that for extra flying around. I'll actually probably do a long live stream of me going through and raiding the end completely once I go over all of the portions I need to go over with you guys. So make sure you catch that, even though by the time you've seen this, it's already happened. And there's a few other things we need to make sure we have with us in the end uh, we're going to want to have plenty of arrows because we are going to be shooting shulkers storage space will not be a problem because we will be getting shulker boxes while we're there and we will be able to craft those shulker boxes because we have a stack of dark oak logs here with us and we're going to want a number of blocks to build with um, we are going to want to have a bow a sword with looting on it and a silk touch pickaxe these other tools we're going to be able to get rid of a little bit later i'll show you how once we find an ender chest and we talk about that and we want to have ourselves plenty of food, torches, not required. So now I can go back in and jump back into the end. We can nope. make our, oh, we can make our platform here a little bit more safe. That way, like something crazy doesn't happen and we fall in the end. Next time we come in, I'm actually kind of afraid of falling down right now. Much better. Okay. We actually do want to get a few ender pearls on us. And right now is probably the best time to do that because we're right here by our pillars. If we need to be able to easily hide. And while we don't need a lot, probably have something like a stack is not a bad idea because we might use them several times as we go through the end to try to find our first end city. So while we're going to get to the outer end islands today by using the gateway here because we killed the ender dragon, you actually don't have to kill the ender dragon to get to the end islands. Now that little platform that we spawned in on when we came to the end in the first place. Well, technically speaking, if you want to, but you can kind of like pillar out like this and it's a long ways, about a thousand blocks or so. It just goes straight line, one direction. I recommend you do it with nothing on you, but the blocks you're gonna pillar with first. That way, if you happen to fall into the void, you don't lose all your stuff, but you can get out there without killing the ender dragon. So I wanted you guys to know that. But us, we're gonna build a nice safe platform to get to this thing. And I'll show you how to use it so you can teleport out to the outer end islands. So what I did was I built steps going upwards, making sure to hold down the crouch button the whole way up. Because again, remember when you hold down that crouch button, you do not fall off the edge of blocks. Once we get up to the top, we're going to make a platform around the end gateway to give ourselves room around it so we, we don't fall in. And also to make sure we don't fall in, we are going to put a little border, a little lip around there. Cause you never know when we might accidentally look at an Enderman, he teleport up here, give us a smack. And last thing we want to do is jump scare ourselves down into the void. And the next part, and honestly, the scary part is one of those Ender Pearls you got, you're going to throw it right in here because I don't know, we haven't really gone over Ender Pearls and what they do yet, but Ender Pearls, they teleport you. So if I throw an Ender Pearl right here, it teleports me to where it landed to. In this case, whenever we Ender Pearl into here, it's gonna take us to the outer islands. Now, what you don't know is what that outer island is going to look like. 
it could be smaller than this platform and place you right on the edge facing the void. So my recommendations to you, when you throw this ender pearl and you appear in, First, face straight down. That way you don't accidentally look at an Enderman and anger them and then they punch you off. Second, hold down that crouch button to make sure that if you're on a ledge and you move accidentally in some way, you don't accidentally move yourself off into the void and die. And then thirdly, take your time and don't be too afraid. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, look straight down. We're, we're on top of a chorus fruit. We could have ended up like, imagine if we ended up on that one. That would have been so terrible. Okay, well, in this case, we have Feather Fall and we can get down from here pretty easy. All right, well, not only was that not too bad, this has actually ended up being easier than I hoped it was gonna be because I wanted to show you guys the struggle. But we have an in-city right there. Now, depending on what your render distance is, you may or may not see that in city, right? So if I come here, I have it at 48 chunks. That's kind of long. Some of you guys, you may have render distances down in like this range, if not lower. If this was my render distance, I would have no clue an in city was right there. But generally speaking, what you're going to want to do is just try to travel in a straight ish direction as well as you can. And this is a reason why I told you to bring ender pearls with you because you only have two options and neither one of them are great. Option number one to get from one island to the next, you would either have to bridge like this. Not great because that's extremely scary. Or option number two is ender pearl. And with that ender pearling method, Get yourself off to the side. Don't overthrow it because if I throw it over this island, we're dead. Don't underthrow it because if I underthrow it, then I mean, in this case, we're not dead. But in a lot of cases, you may be. What we're going to do. I'm sorry. That's my camera account. Um, What we're going to do is we're just going to give like a decent angle and a toss. And there we go. So for you guys, keep doing that island to island in a straight line or using dirt or any block to bridge out to get there. But in our case, I can turn render distance back up. Now, my first in city, I never, ever, ever like to use chunk base. I always like to find it naturally. We got kind of lucky this time. I'll show you guys a really good method for getting a ton of in cities in a short period of time. But first, we got to raid one together because you guys need to know what to expect when you enter inside of one. Um, in our case here, I want to get over there. I think we can make it. Let's try. Please make it. Please make it. Please make it. Please make it. Whew. Does anybody else clinch up when you do that? Because I do. Oh, my gosh. And here we are. Our very first in city. There you go. I just gave you a look of the end city, but let's take a closer look in person. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to enter in via the bottom here. And the first thing we're going to see are these guys right here. You saw them in the footage just a moment ago. These are shulkers. They shoot out shulker bullets at you. And if those bullets hit you, they make you levitate. So to protect yourself from levitating too high up in the air, get your head underneath something like I did right there. You can also... Ow hit those bullets to kind of help yourself out a little bit and make it so you don't get applied that levitation effect to you. I don't know where this other guy went, but yes, they do see like this. Oh, we got an Enderman on us. Hold on. Ah! <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. Look at it. <laughs> Bruh. Um, oh, he teleported back down. He's back. But yeah, here we go. Knock the bullet out the way knock the bullet and take him out. Now, I did not bring a sword with flame on it because if you have flame or fire aspect rather on your sword, the burning effect is going to make those shulkers a lot more likely to teleport around. We don't want them to do that. We want them to stay still. They're still likely to teleport on you, but less likely. Oh, and we're actually, we're about to enter a shulker tower. These things are very profitable for you. And actually, this is an area personally where I love going into because it benefits you to get levitated into the air because you can work your way up and across, flying around, killing the shulkers as you go. You do not want to do this method if you don't don't have like maxed out armor because as you can see I am taking a little bit of a beating here now I'm fine because I have maxed out armor but that's that's the only reason once we get ourselves up to the top here we can move over to the side and we can check out these chests that are up here in this case we have let's see a diamond sword I like bringing all the diamond stuff back even though I don't necessarily need it it's always fun to bring it back and see what you get and now we do have six joker shells which means our storage problems are solved 
We're going to make ourselves a few planks. We're going to set down a crafting table and we're going to make ourselves three chests. And when you combine a chest with shulker shells, you get a shulker box. In this case, we're getting three of them. And what we can do with those shulker boxes is we can place one down. And now all of our extra rockets that we have here, well, we can throw them in there. Uh, we can throw this stuff in and really all the stuff we don't really need to carry on us right this moment. We can throw it in a shulker box to clear out our inventory and make more room. What you can't do, though, is you can't put a shulker box inside of a shulker box. That would be cheating. And to clear this room, my favorite thing to do is just to hop on down and knock my way down to the bottom if I can. As you kill these guys, make sure you go back down to the bottom and get your shulker shells because they often do drop them down there. And now that we've gotten down here, we need to work our way back up. We did kill them all in here. We do not have an elytra yet to fly around with. So for now, we're going to have to pillar around. And raiding an in-city, it's quite simple. What I recommend doing is mark places that you've been, even with a single block like that. That way you know that you've been in a particular area and it'll make it a little bit easier to go through and find your way around to get all of the shulker shells. So that's what I'm going to do. Ooh, and we're in a special room here so room doesn't have a name but this is the room with the ender chest so i let this guy hit me so he'll float me up here make my life a little bit easier we'll take those guys out and then now we have something that is truly amazing this is an ender chest an ender chest holds your items only for you if i put something in here and i'm on a multiplayer server that player will not see the items i've put in the ender chest they will only see items that they have personally put in an ender chest it's kind of like your own personal and portable storage you're going to want to break it with a silk touch pickaxe because a fortune pickaxe will actually destroy it and you can actually make your own ender chest even before going to the end all you need is eye of ender and obsidian and you can make your own ender chest but what makes the ender chest so nice and so special is i can easily carry all of my shulker boxes inside of it so what i like to do usually is i do like to go through organize my shulker boxes as i go we don't have a lot of things to organize right now but also i do like to keep the items that are special to me inside of the ender chest like in this case i don't don't need a shovel in here i don't need a fortune pickaxe we're gonna put those away and we'll keep putting our shulker shells in here too we can pick this up with us if we die with this ender chest somehow whatever is in it will still be there so we do not have to worry about losing any items and speaking of items what do we have? Oh, we have diamonds horse armor diamonds diamonds oh yeah we don't need the iron don't care about that don't care about the iron um gear in there either and let's go back through and continue killing some um, blah, blah, blah. that's shulker for shulker, by the way. Blah, blah, blah. Now, if you want to kill these guys with a bow, you cannot shoot them while they're closed. The arrow, oh, he just opened up. The arrow bounces off of them when they're closed and you try to hit them. So that will not work. But when they're open, they are fair game. Okay, this end city has been conquered. I have gotten all of the shulkers. At least I think so. It's sometimes hard to get all of them. Like this guy right over here, he's he's hanging out. I'm not going to worry about getting him if he does drop anything because it's it's going to be way down there. And he did. Bye, shulker shell. Anyways, there's one bad thing about this end city is it does not have a end city boat. And end city boats can be really important because that's where you find the elytra at. If you're playing on a lower render distance, like I have it on 16 chunks right now, you may be a little stuck. So you may have to do something like resorting to going to chunk base to find more end cities in an easier manner. Or you could just kind of wander around like we did earlier. But one method you can use to find all the end cities you'll ever need is to go all the way out here and turn render distance all the way up as high as you can in my case that's 96 chunks and now as you'll see the land populated around me i will actually end up seeing a lot of different end cities without having to use any out of game resources we can see this one right here it has an end city boat that one down there does that one over there does that one so unfortunately for us we are going to have to make our way one more time on foot and I think we're going to have to go. It's going to be that direction right there to get us across. And it does not look like too big of a gap. So I'm going to start working my way down and we can work our way over.
And here we are. We made it over. And fortunately, this one's not as scary as some can be. Some of these in-city boats, you could be going directly over void. And that is extremely terrifying. In this case, we're going to bridge over. And if we did happen to fall, we'll, we'll just fall down there. It's not going to be a big deal. But in any event, make sure you're extremely careful of doing this. Now, you can enter Pearl over. That, that's fine if that's what you want to do. I get a little scared to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to bridge out. And then eventually, as we get close, one of those guys right there, they're going to shoot us. That's fine. We can then hover the rest of the way over. Try really hard to not look at these dudes. But they, um, they don't want to cooperate. think we're good to so just bridge out kind of quickly. Uh oh, did I look at one? I did. I think. <laughs> ah! Help me! Stop it! Whoo! I mean, again, if he would have knocked me off there, I would have been okay. But man, is that scary? That is so terrifying. Okay, can we try this? Take two. We're about in range of the shulker. I hear him opening. He's gonna shoot at us pretty soon here. Which is fine. We will take the free ride up. Um, he's he's not doing very good. Oh, there he finally went. Okay. Now, ow. Now let's make our way inside the boat. We don't want to float too high up in the air, so we'll kind of block ourselves right here. And let's go. There's always gonna be a shulker right here. Take him out. And here is the grand prize. The Elytra. Now, the Elytra, for those of you who don't know, Elytra makes you fly. Now, you do have to replace it with your armor. So while we're here in the end, what I'm going to recommend is you keep your armor on your hotbar because if you click it, you can swap back and forth. So if you're about to fight a bunch of shulkers or you aggro an enderman, quickly change over to your armor to do your fighting. And then when you're safe, switch back over to your Elytra. Let's get our goodies out of here. Let's place down our ender chest. We'll take our shulker shells out and we will make us a bunch of chests and a bunch of shulker boxes. Now we probably will not need this many, but now is when we can start doing a little bit of organizing. So we can place the box down. Let's put all of our like diamond gear that we get inside of a shulker box. Always like having a gear shulker box. And then we have a like valuable stackable thing shulker box. So diamonds, shulkers, anything else I happen to get. I like to have a extra gear shulker box. So like this is one of my main pickaxes here. So we'll, we'll keep that here with us. Uh, we're going to take this sword out because that belongs in another shulker box. We don't need the blocks. We don't want the food in there. Well, actually, we'll keep the extra food in there. We'll put the golden carriage right there. Our extra tools in here. We will throw in our extra gear shulker box as well just so we know where those are they're easier to find and finally we can have a miscellaneous like blocks and things shulker box where just like all the extra little things we don't need we can throw in here then we'll pick up all of our shulker boxes we'll leave that there forever and ever throw all of our shulker boxes in so now if something crazy happens and we find a way to die all of our valuable stuff, it's in here and it will stay in there. Now, if we were smart, which I wasn't, we would have brought ourselves two additional things. So hopefully you haven't left yet because we could have brought ourselves an anvil, a mending book and an unbreaking book. That way we could fly around with our elytra and keep it fully healed up so it won't break. In this case, we did not bring those things. So we'll just have to keep an eye on our elytra durability because if it breaks while we are flying we will fall now while you're wearing the elytra if you hit the fly like the the jump button to fly whenever you're under the effect of the uh shulker bullets it just it glides you down to the ground it's very nice now what i'm not going to do is i'm not going to give full flying lessons today we might do an, an episode on that in the next one to two episodes to give you guys a good episode on how to fly and maybe i'll even do it on controller as well just to show you um but all you have to do is hit your jump button while you're in the air and you will glide and then if you do that and then use a firework rocket it will boost you in the air so like i would like to take out this tower by getting to the top of it so i'm gonna float and i'm gonna hit my rocket and now I am on my way. And I happen to know that this shulker is going to be hiding right in the middle. So we will knock out the one right beside him. Take him out. And then plop our way down in. And work our way down the tower. Now at this point for us, it's off to the races. So what I can do is I can just fly to every tower that I see with my long render distance that I have. And just keep rating them until I can't see them anymore. But I will show you what I typically do as the best method. And what those of you that maybe play on console or can't play a higher render distance honestly should do. First things first, write down your coordinate. Next we go to chunkbase.com. Click on apps. Click on end city down here. Make sure you have your world seed in. 
make sure it's set to bedrock edition or java edition depending on which one you are on and then finally put in your coordinates we're gonna hit go and then it's going to show you in purple all of the end cities with the ship and in gray all the end cities without a ship. Now, this one time you come to the end is the perfect time to raid end cities because shulker boxes are extremely, extremely useful and important. We will end up using dozens, maybe even hundreds of them throughout this series for different contraptions, farms, building, and other things that we do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plot a trip to go through a lot of different cities. What I typically like to do is just go through and write down the coordinates of them on a sheet of paper or on a, like notepad in your computer go through and start plotting them out i will go through and write them down zigzagging through all of these different end cities whichever ones i want to hit with or without get all the elytra that i can so i have extra and get myself a few stacks of shulker shells that way i have more than i ever need and i don't need to come back but for me I'm going to do this on a live stream and I'm going to do it just by flying around with my render distance turned up and going from city to city. So if you haven't been catching my live streams, make sure you turn that notification on so you are notified every time I go live and my live stream peeps out there, comment down below and let me know that you typically try to watch live streams. I'll see you guys on the other side to show you our haul. go i didn't do too long of an end raid but we did get a lot of things we have uh one and a half shulker boxes worth of just random stuff um this is the big prize right here let's look at that in a second these are just random blocks i guess they don't really matter we'll go back to the main prize we got ourselves one two three nine ten plus the one i have on eleven elytras we have almost four stacks of shulker shells uh, we got some diamonds we got some gold because we do not yet have a gold farm coming soon and we got a couple dragon heads i don't usually collect all of them but i wanted to at least get a couple and that's about it now there's one other thing we have to do with all of these elytra And there we go, 11 elytras, mending, unbreaking three, and all the way in, mended up and ready to go. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me know your tips and tricks that you have for rating the end, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.